Good morning. A safety alert as the wildfires rage in the high country. Now is a perfect time to remind children of the dangers of playing with matches. And tomorrow, Valley teachers will get their own lesson to take back to the classroom. Joining us live in studio is Dr. Robert Cole with the Fireproof Children Company. And Dr. Cole, you are teaching this class. You're teaching teachers to teach students to play safe and be safe. Exactly. Tell us about that. Well, <clears throat> we are very concerned about young children's uh, fire safety, but their fire involvement, and also to make sure they understand what to do in the event of a fire. So we uh, developed a program in cooperation with the Big Corporation, the folks that make the pens, shavers, lighters, to develop a preschool fire safety education program that addresses fire prevention. For children, we tell children, Matches and lighters are wonderful things, they're wonderful tools, but they're grown-up tools. If you find matches, you find lighters, go tell a grown-up. That's the fire prevention message, and we also have three life safety messages. Stop, drop, and roll, crawl low under smoke, and go to the firefighter. Young children are often very frightened in a fire and run and hide, and we do that. Um, we try to give teachers the materials they need by developing this kit, which we're going to be distributing to everyone that comes to the workshop. And you've you got to get this message out early because from what Absolutely. I understand, about half of all kids have played with matches, right. started a fire, not started a fire, but played with fire mean. by the time they're 13. That's exactly right. And also the youngest children are the ones at greatest risk the four-year-olds, the five-year-olds, because they have the poorest understanding and they're most likely to take a big risk. They're the ones that are most likely to take a match, a lighter, into a, you know, into a closet or to hide in their bedroom. Uh, they're the least likely to understand what they've done. If they've started a fire, they might leave something smoldering and just run and hide. Uh, so we really need to get to that very early age group. All right, Dr. Cole, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks this for morning. having me. Nicole?